Hello Capricorn and welcome to your April 2022 singles love reading. Capricorn, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more information in those um, cards for you or those readings. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Rudy. Thank you for joining me and this reading welcome 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 if you are returning thank you so much for your trust and support for your likes, shares and subscribes all your good energies and all your um your comments and your uh, uh energy i mean just being here thank you all so much for just being here all right capricorn again anything you need will be listed below so you know make yourself at home feel free April 2022 singles love reading and I have to say because some people get upset if they don't have um, you know a person coming into their life because it is a quote-unquote love reading and I do have to say I read the cards if there's somebody showing up I will definitely say there's somebody showing up if there's a potential there but it can also be where you need to do work on yourself or you know something needs to happen in order to um, bring in this person there needs to be something going on. So I just read the cards. And again, this is just for the month. And it is not written in stone. You can change any of this. If you change, the outcome can change. It's just reading the energies as of right now for April. Uh, for Capricorn for April 2022. Alright guys. Let us see what we have. I'm going to pull three cards here. Just kind of overall energy for you. The nine of action, nine of wands. There you go. And we have six of thought and the ten of thought. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We have the nine of action. This is a card of working hard for where you're at. You've been through a lot, Capricorn. You've been through a lot. You've stood your ground. You have fought the battles, you have been in the trenches, you have, you know, been in all the things, all the scenarios, you've come out of it, right? You chose to come out of it, you chose to be here now, you chose to be in this spot. Um, this is your center card, so this is most prevalent to the reading, your tenacity, your, um, again, stick to staying with it, fighting, not giving up, right? Not giving up. If you've had some bad relationships... Yeah, it could have got you down, but you didn't give up on it. And you're ready to kind of put yourself back out there. And then you have these two cards. This is a card of moving away, and this is a card of being done. So you could have had a relationship in the past that um, you're absolutely moving away from. You're moving away from that energy. You're moving into more clearer thinking. You're moving into more of a... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More of a... Um, Clearer understanding, a clearer thinking, a clearer understanding, uh, um, an easier way, an easiness, a comfortable way for you. And you're absolutely moving out of the energy, leaving this behind. You're, whatever this is in the past, you're done. Whatever or whoever this is in the past, you're done. You're not going back to this person. This will not happen. Um, you know, whatever it is they have done to you or, or, did or didn't do to you, you're done. You're not putting up with this energy anymore. That is a 10 of thoughts. So we'll start with this card, which is the action, the nine of action about, you know, being done with the situation. And well, it's nine is a number of um, completion. It's also a number of gaining wisdom, learning from, you know, uh, a situation, being content where you are, but wanting to move forward, wanting to uh, move on. But holding your ground and fighting your fight. This says you've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life. Such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals and the environment need your protection. So you can get into some type, type of activism. You could get into some type of... Uh, and you might be in that and you could meet somebody in, through that also uh, your six of thought again moving forward moving out of um, moving forward with your thoughts learning as you go and um, going into more calm out of the drama 
Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed. And now you can see your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. It is a journey card. It is a journey card. You can meet somebody that's not around you. You can meet somebody that you might have to, um, you know, travel to, or maybe they they will be in another country. And then we have the ten of thought being done, being completed. A situation that has been troubling you has come to an end. You can breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times behind you. You now, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go of this at this juncture. Someone in your life may not finally be free, may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. I think it's a past relationship. You know, even if it was codependent or whatever it could be, again, you're done. Whatever it is, you've decided, you know, it, it could be one of those relationships where um, you may have kept going back to this person. But you know now that you're done. You know now that you're not going to do that anymore. You're, you're, you've completed that cycle. You're not going there anymore. Um, you've made your mind up. Ten is a, a number of, you know, completion end of the cycle you're ready to begin new you don't want that person coming back at all all right let us see what we've got going on here for capricorn singles what is coming in for capricorn How are you guys doing? Everybody doing okay? Hanging in there? I hope so. I hope so. Alright. We have the chariot. We have three of hearts and the six of pentacles. To start off with, so the chariot under the six of swords is movement. You have double movement here. It's six of thought moving forward. Um, you can see they're in a boat and they're they're leaving kind of rougher waters, going into smoother waters, smooth sailing ahead. Um, again, you could be taking your thoughts. You could be clearing your mind. Um, this can also portend a new car or a new vehicle for you if that's a possibility. But I see this as movement forward. This is a card of cancer. Um, the sign cancer and it is a card of um, you know taking matters into your own hands taking the reins and steering in the direction you want to go just like in the boat you're rowing in the direction you want to go you're moving in that direction you're not you're not um, you're not depending on anybody else to do it for you and you have this beautiful butterfly here you have this beautiful butterfly of transformation so this whole situation has transformed you. This whole situation has made you a better person, a stronger person. Um, if you, you know, you could thank this person for, for giving you these lessons. You have the three of hearts. This is being with like-minded people with the nine of action. Um, you could have your own little um, corner, you know, people in your corner that are fighting for you or fighting with you that are standing by your side that know everything you've been through. It might just be one or two people. It might be three or four people, but they know what you've been through and they're on your side and they're standing with you. And, um, three is a card of growth, a number of growth. And these again are like-minded people. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of fun here. So you could, um, maybe go out and, um, be having fun. Go out with your friends. Maybe you might meet somebody. But you are on the move. You are moving forward. You're not going to be stuck in that past uh, energy anymore. We have the Six of Pentacles. And this is a card of what you're wanting to bring into your relationship. You're wanting a give and take. You're wanting a fairness. Um, you also want somebody that you know, has money or has a job or has a way to make money and is not afraid to work because uh, you're not afraid to work. You're not afraid to do what you have to do. And you want somebody that is like-minded. You want somebody that is um, kind of right there with you on that. You don't want to support anybody, right? You don't want to support anybody. You don't want to have to um, say, you know, 
basically have somebody living with you or being with you that that doesn't pull their own weight you know that's not going to happen you want that fairness you want that give and take you want to make sure that um what you're putting out there you're getting back and what they're putting out there they're getting back it's a fairness is it always like that no sometimes they're down and you have to pull them up and sometimes you're down and they have to pull you up so you do have that energy also all right We have two of pentacles. Ooh, flippy card. The hierophant. Interesting. And the hangman. All right. Bottom of the deck energy. We also have the empress. It's a card of growth. It's a card of... Um, Nurturing, stability, again, being strong, standing your ground, knowing what you want, knowing how to manifest it, knowing what, what you want to manifest, knowing what you want to bring in, not going to let others uh, basically rule you or tell you what to do or uh, lead you in a direction you don't want to be led in, if that makes any sense. It's very strong. It can be very female energy. It can be a card of pregnancy. Um, if you're a male watching this, it could just be getting in touch with that feminine aspect of you, that kind of mother lioness type of energy, uh, very nurturing, very giving, very caring energy, but it, it's also, you don't cross that line. She's the empress, right? So you don't cross that line. She didn't get to where she got just, just because, uh, there's a lot of knowledge here. There's a lot of power here. And it's almost like, um, the energy of, you know, I'll be nice, but don't push me. Don't, don't. Again, make me do something I don't want to do. Don't put me in a situation that I don't want to be put in because it's not going to happen. There will, there will be retaliation. It's not going to happen. So we have the Two of Pentacles under the Chariot, under the Six of Swords. And this is, a, again, a card of balance, bringing in balance, bringing, <clears throat> bringing in this energy of, uh, you know, maybe between work and um, going out. I see you more right now. I don't see anybody uh, specific coming in. I see you maybe enjoying yourself, getting your toes wet, so to speak, getting out. Uh, I think you could have maybe just got over a breakup or recently got over a breakup and you're done, but you don't need, I don't think you need right now to be in another relationship like right away. Say that three times fast. But you're wanting to excuse me, balance out this, um, this energy of your work and your, uh, maybe going out, you know, you have this, this, this balance that you're trying to figure out. It's like, how can I, you know, work the hours I work and maybe still date or maybe go out with my friends and still do this. So you're kind of figuring that out. You're, you're kind of trying to get in, um, this, meeting people and going out and having fun when you can and it's kind of a juggle it's kind of a struggle at times um it's going to make you wiser there's going to be wisdom in this there's going to be some type of um almost like a pathway that shows up or or something that shows up for you this it, some a way is going to be made easier maybe maybe your hours will change at work or something you know it will um, make it easier for you to go out and meet people. We have the Hierophant under the Three of Cups under the um, Nine of Wands. The Hierophant is a card of... Um, it could be milestones. It could be commitment. It could be knowledge. It could be teachers. It can also be like a, um, a religious figure, right? That type of... Uh, the piousness, that, that type of Pope energy, that type of... Um, religion you know this card could be getting more in touch with your spirituality also um it could be it could be if you're getting a divorce you know this milestone maybe the divorce is going to be finalized making something official you know it could be an official breakup or an official split or official divorce um it can be a person coming in they can, I mean, it can be, it could be somebody that you meet maybe at a lecture or a, at some type of, um, group, something where they're, they're, 
they're teaching or showing or doing something. Uh, there's knowledge here. It's almost like a counselor or a teacher or a professor. There's knowledge. There's following. There's people that um, seek this person out. That's why I'm saying the energy is more like a, uh, um, like a lawyer or a, um, a counselor or something like that. Maybe that you've been seeing possibly. A mediator. You have the hangman energy under the six of pent um, yeah, but six of pentacles and then the ten of swords. Being done with that energy, wanting to bring in a new energy of balance, wanting to bring in that new energy of uh, give and take, right? And you have the hangman. So it's this is something again you're giving more thought to. You might be going out of your box. You might be going out of your comfort zone to um, to look at people that you may or may not, you know, have given a second chance to or given a thought about it it might be like oh yeah they're not my that's not the kind of people i would normally go out with or whatever have you energy um so that's a possibility too it is you know seeing something from a different perspective it could be meeting somebody and making make you know that person could Put ideas in your head or make you see stuff, make you think in a way that you hadn't thought about, you know. They could be very analytical, this person. They could be very much in their head and, and very much, you know, um, knowledgeable about, about things. And you could maybe have a lot of discussions about matters or about the world or about history or about whatever it is you're interested in. It could be esoteric even, but I'm seeing this more as... Uh, Especially if you meet somebody that's not from your country or not from your area or not from your state or not from, you know, there's going to be knowledge to be learned and you're going to see uh, things. It's, it's almost like, you know, wow, I didn't know people live that way or I didn't know, you know, I never knew people who did that that way or can cook this way or whatever. It's, it's like little things like that. But I feel like it's more of you... Um, you know, thinking outside the box, seeing things from a different angle. Again, maybe going after somebody or, or uh, pursuing somebody or uh, dating somebody or wanting to date somebody that you normally maybe wouldn't want to date or, you know, going deeper. Um, maybe before you just were attracted to people by their looks, maybe you're getting more what they're, what's, What's inside of them that attracts you more now? You know what I'm saying? That That's that kind of energy. It's almost like an inside-out energy. Whatever you, you did prior, you're doing different this time. If you did more of an analytical thing and, and you were more drawn to them and in, they're inside, you know, their person, than they're outside, you might be more, you know, I want to be around beautiful people or something like that energy. I don't know. Um, but it's just that kind of flip. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, and then the Six of Swords. And the clarifying card on that is the Page of Pentacles. So again, this is imagination. This is seeing something new, seeing something in a new light, um, being surprised by something. You could, you could be getting a message. There could be somebody coming in that maybe you didn't even know um, maybe liked you, and, and they could be putting out that, you know offering you a cup they could be saying hey you know uh, I'd like to go out with you or whatever and you never really thought about it they could be younger than you they could be um, kind of more naive maybe um, they could have a crush on you that type of energy uh, it's something different it's something new um, something that again you didn't see coming kind of like a surprise factor again you could be hearing from this person they could be texting you or calling you or mailing you or something um, or just showing up some type of surprise some type of surprise energy coming in um, and it could be a work it could be somebody at work um, the hierophant the three of cups and then the nine of wands clarifier please we have the king of pentacles beautiful um Again, somebody presenting, it can go really well with the Hierophant. It could have somebody to do with work, somebody through work. Um, 
I almost feel like this person could introduce you to this person is what I'm feeling. This could be a very younger person, like a, um, like their child or, you know, somebody at work that, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a younger energy They could introduce you to it, or they could be around this person with it. Um, very strong, very much in charge of their finances. Um, very grounded, very, very earth centric person. It goes really well with the Empress, honestly, with that energy of kind of knowing what you want and sitting in your power. Um, the pinnacles are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's your energy. It's somebody you're going to mesh really well with. That could be your boss. That could be a higher up than you. Um, but they are somebody that is, um, very much, You know, they're really kind of chill and really kind of lay back. They really don't, um, they, re I mean, I'm not saying they can't pursue you, but they're kind of a slower energy. I almost feel like if you're interested in this person, you're going to have to be the one that makes the move, but you're a Capricorn also. So that might, you know, it might be the energy of, um, Again, maybe going to some class together. Maybe getting knowledge together. Maybe you'll meet through there. Maybe you're going to meet through friends. Whatever it is, they have a similar energy. That Nine of Swords energy where you have your guard up and you're still... Um, um, They could have like-minded energy. They could be getting out of a relationship also. But the, the pentacles are slow movers. So they could want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Or go do things. Because uh, they can be very active also. Go do things. But, um, you know, it's like, do they like me? <laughs> you, you know, you might date this person for three years. And are you dating? I mean, it's just that kind of... Uh, needing that clear that clarifying energy and I just flipped a card let me see if I can grab it because that is our clarifier for Oy. the hangman and the six of Pentacles um, and the ten of swords so we have another king wow king of swords energy interesting now these present they're all males they can be females it's just the energy um, if this is a female, she's more, you know, um, the queen would be kind of more behind the scenes, maybe not so much in your face or right in there. The king's going to take action. The king's going to take action with his money. The king's going to be moving forward with his money. Um, this could be somebody at work that just got a raise or somebody that got promoted or somebody that is um, seen, right? And these two kings are seen. So you could have, you know, there's three possibilities here. Again, they're male presented. They can be female. It there is no gender specific. It's just the energies. King of Swords is a no-nonsense king. Now, between these two, if there's two pursuing you, right? This is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. It's air energy. There's two pursuing you. This one's going to be faster. This one's going to be the one that is after no-nonsense. You know, ask you out. Um, pursue, pursue, pursue. They take action. That is what the swords do. They are generally... Um, they're honest and open and can be very much a, um, you know, truth seekers, but they can also be very blunt and to the point. It's like, if they like you, they like you. And, you know, you're not going to get the romance that you will get with the cups from this king. Uh, you'll have more grounded, earthy energy, you know, kind of that comfortable energy with the king of pentacles so there could be some um you know potential here definitely coming in they're clarifier energies so they could be kind of underlying i see them almost like this they could be woven into what is going on with the hangman you know thinking outside the box going you know this is a very analytical person this is somebody again that could talk to you all night long energy so um it could be where you're used to sitting on the couch and eating popcorn and then you're out at, you know, um, some type of lectures and all that learning different things. So there's a possibility too. You're very open to everything though. Again, with the hangman and the three of cups, you're very open to whatever. It's like whatever. Um, you are still guarding, 
with the nine of wands, you are still guarding yourself and, but you're not closed because you're done. Whatever the past situation was, you're not closed. You're not blocked. You're not, you know, the person's blocked, but you're not blocked. Oh, sorry. Talked all these cards. One more. Wait. All right. Let's see the energies we have, Capricorn. Yeah, flirt. See, have fun. Have fun, have fun, have fun. I think that is what all that Three of Cups energy is. You know, going out with friends, like-minded friends, having fun. Kicking up your heels, right? Just have fun. Um, when we have fun, I think we're, we're our truest form of ourself, right? We're not pretending. When we truly have fun, we're not pretending. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So flirt. Have fun. There's no hard and fast rules. You know, you're not connected to people. So just have fun. All right. Oops. Romance. There you go. And differences, I think it says. Let me see. Differences, yeah. Hmm. Um, you know, you have romance here, so we all know what that card is. I get go out and have fun, let people spoil you, let people flirt with you, you know, um, flirt with them, enjoy, enjoy that feeling, enjoy that feeling. And also with romance is romance, you know, romance yourself, treat yourself nice, draw your own bubble bath, light your own candles, enjoy yourself, love yourself first. You have differences here. And I just see this card as um, knowing when you come out of the gate, so to speak, not everybody is going to uh, be like you. And I think that's where the hangman comes in. It's seeing things from a different perspective. It's seeing that we're all different and just trying, you know, not everyone is going to be exactly like you. You're not going to, uh, and you might meet, but chances are about meeting somebody that's just exactly like you in every single way is not going to happen because we're all different. Um, and that's a good thing. It's just showing here that just because you're different doesn't mean there can't be a spark. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Don't let your flame go out before there's even an opportunity. All right. And butterfly. This says relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. It's a beautiful card. It's beautiful. It's really the whole reading. You know, you have the growth. Uh, where did we see that butterfly on this? Because you had that, um, oh, on here, on the, um, the chariot moving forward. Transformational energy. You know, transforma transforming. Transforming yourself. Not being the same person you were before. You are having the growth. Anytime we can have a relationship, even if it hurt us, even if we come out with wounds, because with the nine of wands, you're going to have the wounds and we can learn from it and we can grow from it. And you have people around you that will help you and support you and lift you up when we can have that kind of energy. It is transforming and it's transformational for our own lives. It helps us understand ourselves better and it helps us find the love and, and even the inner love, like I said, with the romance, you know, romance yourself first, love yourself first. And it's going to lead you to a higher, um, vibration and bring in the, the right like-minded people that are supposed to be there, even if they challenge you and even if they teach you, right? The people that are supposed to be in your life. All right, Capricorn, let me know how this resonates with you. I'd love to hear from you. If you know anybody that this sounds like, please feel free to share the video. Uh, again, you have potential coming in. There's two people. 
Um, you have one, again, that's more kind of laid back and chill, and one that's probably more out there in your face and very, um, not really demanding, but very much can be. Uh, but they're kind of intermingled with other things. So the ultimate decision will be up to you, and the ultimate decision will be uh, how you want to pursue everything. But right now, these cards are just telling you to dip your toe in, enjoy, have fun, flirt, go out with your friends, be open, which I think you already are. Stay safe, stay blessed until next month. If you like these readings, I do uh, put readings out every Saturday for the week ahead. I post every Saturday for all the signs. So check that out. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. I'd appreciate that. Capricorn, be blessed. Till next month. Bye for now.